What's good? It is day three of the hypertrophy cycle, and tomorrow is a big dunk session. I'm dunking with Jordan Kilgannon. Um, this is the introductory week to the hypertrophy cycle. So normally today would have been a general day doing upper body, but since I want to jump pretty well tomorrow, I am taking today off. But a rest day is never really a rest day when I train because I do isometrics, right? So I'm going to have a timer here, a timer here going, and I'll just talk while I do this. Um, these are what my isos look like, all right? So if you don't know what an isometric is, an isometric is a muscle contraction where the muscle is neither shortening nor lengthening, all right? So you're applying force and your muscle staying the same length. And these happen to be really, really amazing if you have knee pain. I truly believe if I had known this, and known about isometrics when I was in high school, I, would pro I probably would have been playing college basketball somewhere <laughs> and not dunker. Um, or I would be an even better dunker than I am now. The reason being is I started getting knee pain when I was 14 years old. And I'm talking excruciating knee pain. So you guys see this, this bump right here? That's the tibial tuberosity. Really common place to have knee pain. Insertional tendinopathy, especially uh, for teenagers. And guys that are, anybody that's, that's growing and does a lot of knee extension activity, uh, they're really prone to having tendinopathy there. It's really commonly called Osgood Schlatter's disease. So I started first getting knee pain there when I was 14. I remember I was doing like high jump, like my school had like this track and field competition. I did high jump, jumping off one leg. That's when I first felt it. And then just playing basketball. And then of course I started researching it and I always was told that it would, it would go away as soon as I was done growing. That was not the case. I turned 18, 19, the pain was even worse than when I was 14. And it was bad when I was, when I was 14, 15, 16, right, all throughout high school. Uh, but it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And eventually the knee pain got to the point where I was seriously considering quitting professional dunking. Um, I started pro dunking when I was about 18. So around 16 years old, started posting my dunks on YouTube, got a lot of traction, improved really quickly. And I also do believe part of the reason I started getting knee pain so, so severely is because I progressed so quickly. And I didn't know anything about load management. Like now, I know a ton about load management. And at THP, like, I always tell people, we're the best at, uh, at improving vertical jumps. I truly feel like we're even better at healing tendinopathy, right? Knee pain. Achilles pain, knee pain. If it's tendinopathy, I really feel like we are the best in the world at uh, dealing with those issues. Um, the amount of athletes that we get that have tried, not going to name programs, but have tried programs from people that specialize, like this is what their marketing is, is getting rid of knee pain. And I'm talking all of them, not just the biggest one, <laughs> which you guys probably know the name, but all of them. Um, like we literally just had a guy, his name's uh, Jackson. He's a long distance runner, debilitating knee pain for like a year or two, tried everybody's program, nothing worked. Literally within a month, we have him literally running. I think he's going to do one-hour runs uh, this week. Uh, completely, well, not, not completely gone, but the pain is now manageable after not being managed for about a year. So really freaking good at, at what we do. But, uh, yeah, I uh, started posting my dunks. They started getting traction. Um, and when I was like 19, 20, the pain really just got horrible to the point where I was about to quit pro dunking and it's one of the most depressing things ever to love something so much that you are literally willing to do it for eight nine ten hours a day and you can't even do it for five minutes because of knee pain um then I met my coach John Evans and he introduced me to Ebony Rio's research Joe Cook's research we started doing a progression managing my load stop doing what hurts which is jumping um we started doing isometrics so that we can get that tendon uh, more resilient, get the pain sensitivity down. 
uh, start actually building collagen <laughs> in, in my knee, uh, in my patellar tendon, and within six weeks, I, I was able to jump uh, without pain for the first time since I was literally 13. Remember, I started getting knee pain at 14. I hadn't jumped all throughout from age 14 to 20. Every session I had was painful. Uh, and I thought it was normal. I thought that's just what everybody, everybody went through. So, um, isometrics were a huge part. It was, it was literally the, the, the bridge between, um, you know, stopping the activity and then getting back into, into jumping. So as far as how often I do this, so obviously today is a rest day. I do my isometrics three times a day. Um, Five sets, of 40, three to five sets of 45 seconds, and I spread them out around every six hours. So literally, I do a set as soon as I wake up, set a timer for six hours, um, do my five sets. When my timer goes off again, I'll do my other five sets. Um, I try to push around 70% effort on it. Usually, I try to find the position that hurts about a three out of 10. Right now, these aren't painful because uh, I have my knee pain under control. Not even under control. I don't even feel the, the knee pain. Um, at least the original knee pain I had when I was 14, I haven't felt that in years. Uh, but the right knee pain, all that stuff, I don't really feel it, which is a good sign. Usually that means I'm going to freaking fly. Uh, but my general guidelines, find an isometric where you feel about a 3 out of 10 pain on the first set. And you know you're doing the right ISO. You know you're doing the right intensity, the right range of motion, the right effort level. Um, if there's an analgesic effect, analgesic means that pain drops. I always say, the analogy I always give is ISOs are like ibuprofen, right? You know you're doing it right if pain drops directly afterwards, and uh, it lasts for a while. That's why we do isometrics right before, right before training, because uh, you get the analgesic effect, and it really warms you up well, and then you're able to do your activity. So that's my last set. I think that was four, four sets. So again, we do three to, three to five sets, and that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to be doing today. Um, I'm really excited for tomorrow. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of sketched out about, I'm starting to feel sniffles. For those of you guys that don't know, I am a, I am a father. I have a baby daughter and she's in daycare and she's gotten sick so much this year, which means I've gotten sick a lot. So I'm feeling like, you know, that off feeling you get right before you get sick. So, but Hey, whether or not I get sick, I still think I'm going to go, I'm going to fly and it'll be a good environment for jump training. But yeah, next video you see will be the dunk session, which will be uploaded tomorrow. Super excited about that. I don't think Jordan's dunks are going to be in there. Usually he likes to post it, his own dunks in his own channel. Um, but yeah, it's going to be me, Nathan George, RJ, Austin, and Kilgannon. Uh, should be really fun. Uh, like always, if you want to get coached by me one-on-one -on -one to jump higher, especially if you have knee pain. If you have knee pain, like... I can't stress enough how good we are at getting rid of that. And I literally, I guarantee you're going to get rid of, rid of that knee pain. If you do not see a noticeable improvement in your knee pain within a month, I have no problem refunding you your money. Um, as long as you do every single workout, you do exactly what we say. You stop doing what hurts, follow those guidelines. Um, I have no problem with that. And I know we're not going to because we've literally, every person, we have like a 99% efficacy rate. So, and the 1% are the people that did what uh, we told them not to do. So if you have knee pain, go to thpstrength.com. It'll be the best decision you ever made in your life. Stop wasting your time with uh, these random people that suck at what they do. Um, and finally, like the video. Helps the channel out a lot. Uh, I think the information I give is extremely valuable. I try to just give you guys everything I know out for free. Um, even though I have a coaching program, I like to give you guys the tools needed so that you can do this by yourself. And then if you want to skip the headaches of that and the planning, and if you want the accountability and you want some, someone with you every step of the way, that's what my coaching is for. But at the end of the day, the reason I have my coaching at the price it is at the moment and why I put out all, out all these things for free is because I wish I would have had this when I was 16. I would have avoided a lot of pain and misery um, and depression if I would have had uh, all this information out there. So hopefully that was valuable for you guys. If it was, again, like the video. And I'm going to catch you guys in an exciting video dunking tomorrow.